friends. It's Wayne Brown, the Ram Man. Going to give you a video and explain to you about Mopar Power Brakes and what its benefit can do. And at the shows and on the phone constantly, I'm urging people to go to Power Brakes. Disc brakes is fine, but it's the Power Brakes that will completely change the attitude of your car and make it pleasurable to drive. Uh, when you got especially the Bendix system, the Tandem Diaphragm Bullet Nose Bendix Booster introduced in 1962 on the Imperials. The Imperials always got top of the line components. Yes, this booster was used on drum brake applications with a big old inch and an eight inch bore in 1962. And of course then it was scavenged for all the disc brake setups on Mopars, including the Hemis. Here's what most people don't understand. Basically, on a manual brake car, master cylinder bolted to the firewall, classic double hump drum brake master cylinder on tens of thousands of Mopars. You have a six to one pedal ratio, basically right here. You put 50 pounds of force here, times six, one inch bore, you get 300 PSI out. But you gotta put 50 pounds on here. 30 pounds times six gets you 180 out. That's why our drum brake Mopars, manual drum brakes, or disc brakes for that matter, are so difficult to stop. And let me tell you, friends, a manual brake car is versus a power brake car the stopping distance is normally 40% greater. You realize that? 40%. That's why out there on the expressway or the neighborhood or whatever, these manual drum brake cars and disc brake cars, they're really unsafe for today. I'm going to give you a perfect example, and I'm going to show you folks. Here's a factory power brake unit on B&E bodies at normally consists of four components. The complete factory power brake setup on B and E bodies is basically four components. A, correct is assumed here. Master cylinder, the booster, the correct firewall reinforcing plate, and then the booster linkage which goes up here and the pedal mount right here. Alright my friends, I'm going to give you an example right here. Here we basically have a manual brake setup. You see that right there? I've got to grab a hold of this and push on there. You guys are driving your cars around, so you know what I'm talking about. But when you got the Bendix set up, you have to remember something. That this is two boosters in one. And still to this day, this booster will flow within 10% of any automobile booster out there today. It is extremely powerful. That's why it was used on the Imperials to stop a 6,600 pound behemoth and used on the disc brakes and the Hemi cars came with it also. Let's put some back into it. There we go. We've put a little bit of vacuum to it. Now I want you to watch and really understand this. And this is why I tell people, you bolt on this factory tandem Bendix setup and it'll be stopping just like your modern car. That nice, plush, soft pedal. Are you with me? Watch this. Watch my fingers. Did you see that? Watch. Less than five pounds in, get you 500 out here. Yes, my friends. It's about a hundred to one ratio, not a six to one. Are you with me? once again. It is crazy to be driving your Mopar around today 
now that these have been out two years, we brought them back to market. Be cruising around in your car without power brakes. I mean, for real. Uh, give me a call, 817-691-5996. Be more than happy to help you out. I don't sell anything. I just show how things work and products sell themselves. Factory, you have to remember something. It always fits. It always looks right, and it always works right. Three simple facts. Thank you, my friends. God bless you. Bye.